What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a flashback effect in Vegas Pro 15. So as you can see I have Vegas Pro 15 open, I have an aerial shot of New York and then I have the same aerial shot of New York just in a vintage style. Now I showed this earlier in the week how to achieve this effect so if you want to know how to do that check out my other video which will be linked in the description. So the first thing we're going to be doing is heading over to transitions and we're going to be adding on a flash. Now it's completely up to you which one you pick. I'm just going to stick to the default and I'm going to add this in between the clips we want the flashback effect to happen on. Now we don't need to worry about these settings if you want to adjust it by all means you can but it's not really necessary. And this has now created a one second flash transition from this clip to this clip. So if I play it through you can see that's how it all looked. Now if you want to make it longer, simply drag it out. If you want to make it shorter, simply bring it in. Completely optional how you want it. I'm going to keep mine at the default. So that's it for the transitions. We're now going to head over to video effects and all the effects will happen on the second video. So the first video is going to stay completely normal, but when we want the flashbacks to happen, this is where we're going to be adding all the effects. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to video effects and from video effects, we're going to come to color corrector. From color corrector, we're going to select blue mid turned and we're going to drag and drop this on our video. Now, this is how it's going to look straight away, but I have some settings that I recommend to use. So, you can follow along and copy me. So, first of all, it's going to be 35.00, comma, and it's going to be 0 0.3300. Enter. And that's the lows done. Now, it doesn't look the best still because we still have more effects. Then we have the mids. Now for the mids, I recommend 346.00, comma, and then it's going to be 0 0.205. And we've got the last one, which is the highs, and I recommend 330.00, comma, 0.325. And just like that, that is the effect we've done. Now we do have saturation, gamma, gain, and offset here, but personally, I don't change them. You can play around with them if you want to. Now what if you don't want to remember all of these settings and keep going back to my video to find these settings? Well where it says preset, come up here and simply type in flashback. So as you can see the preset flashback, then press this save preset button and from there you will no longer need to remember them settings because if I come off color corrector and go back to it, you can see flashback is always going to be there for us. So all the settings are going to be saved. Now there's one more effect we're going to be adding and that effect is known as glow. So these are the different glows you can have. Of course, flashback, we want to stick to the whites. Now you pick which one you want. It is completely optional. There's no right or wrong. For me, I'm going to pick the intense glow. I'm going to drag and drop this onto the video. You can see this is what it has given us. And now let's sort this out. So we have the glow percent, we have the intensity and we have suppression. If you want to change a color to maybe a blue if you want a flashback or maybe a red if you want an evil flashback, then by all means just select it and change a color. So I'm going to play around with the settings we have here just to create a flashback effect and I'm going to stay there. So you can see I didn't actually have any settings laid out for this. I literally just saw what looked good as a flashback and put it in. So for this, I can't really give you the correct settings. Everyone's footage is going to be different, so it might not look as good as yours, but you can by all means try these settings. Once again, once you find a preset you like, you can come here, type in flashback, and from there select the save preset button, X out of it, and if we come off glow, and go back to it, you can see right there, flashback is always going to be there, so we won't have to remember them settings. But now, if I play it through, everything is going to be completed. So we have normal New York City, we have the flash transition, and then boom, this is the flashback effect, looks really, really nice. Now that's how simple it is to create a flashback effect in Vegas Pro 15.